Hello, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how to make this card. A little quick Valentine's card. I don't know if you can see it for the light. Love you always. To make this card, I am using the dies from uh, Forever and Always. I've, all got, I've got the dies out. Yeah. And also DSP from the punch paper. I forgot what it's called. It was in the clearance rack, this. That's why I got it. And on the back is that. So we're going to punch out a couple of these hearts using the heart punches. Um, so to make this card I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored in half and fo scored and folded in half and it's not burnished very well I've got a piece of Blushing Bride at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. A piece of the Designer Series paper, I'm using the reverse, at 3 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. A piece of white for inside. And I've all, like I said, I've got the punch paper, DSP, some silver foil and some scraps of gorgeous grape island heather black what have I got this for? oh and um, blushing bride for the hearts so while I'm here let's punch out the cardstock hearts first so we want a blushing bride a Highland Heather and a Gorgeous Grape the backings for our hearts and for our hearts I'm going to cut this as we want to cut these punch these two hearts out so Trying to go easy because these have got a, like a little white border around the edges when you punch them out, and I do want it to be even. So get rid of that. Oh, now I want a pink one on it, and now I need a pink heart. I want. Oh, I could have done it in them colours. Never mind. Um, this one. use that for another bit one day so there we have all our hearts so that one will go on the gorgeous grape that one on her highland heather and this one on the blushing bride um, put that to the side right now we need to cut out these um, words so chop off a bit of the 
silver foil, make sure I've cut off. the word always and now I'm going to put this through twice do the same with that, put it through twice. The reason I'm putting it through twice is one it's intricate and two it's foil. I mean for all I know that could be cut fine but to save messing about just cut it through twice. Look at that it just comes out in one go. Right, get rid of that. Now we've got to cut out some black bits. I did try other colours, you know, to get it to come out in um, try brush and bride. I tried the purples. It just didn't stand out enough. And black was the only colour that it stood out. So that's why I went with the black and put that on. Like that. I couldn't have it without the black because I needed um, Somewhat on the back to put dimensionals on. It's quite hard. The wording was is thin, so that'll be too fiddly to put on dimensionals. Right, there's the word love. Where's my love? The L there. Uh, rest of the word like that. Now then the U for love you let's just put them there. I used my small retired stamping up letters and just cut out a no, that's wrong with silver I need. I'm doing. to put this out. Right, 
There's my yoop. Right, finish with them. Right now, this U I glued on to a piece of black card. Like that. And then I Cut around it. Couldn't see my scissors. Leaving a small border. So up around the edges and then I just cut up the middle Those sides of the U. And then snipped it out. And there is my U. Not very well today. Now we'll glue these on to the background or backings. Just using tiny dots of glue. And we'll just pop them on like that. There you are. Love you always. I'm not happy with that you. Let's cut this off.
all I'm doing is just cutting the black away at an angle so it's away from the silver so I'm not happy with the way it came out it's just a mess in fact it'd be just as easy to cut another U Start again. I had no trouble cutting the first one, believe it or not. It just worked. But this one... That'll do. That's better. Right. Let's put this card, that one, this one together. So, oh. I don't usually make Valentine's cards. Me and my husband, we never give Valentine's card. And we used to when we first got married. But we don't bother now. Something under my book. Right, I need to glue these down. And then pop them on dimensionals. One. Right, um, right, put 
putting dimensionals on these. Right, we're going to put three on the very first one we're going to pop down. And this will go up here. Now this one's going to go sitting on there, so we don't want a dimensional there. So we have one here, one here, and one just off the centre. And that, I'm going to pop a bit of glue here, and that's going to go there. And we'll do the same with the bottom one. So pop a bit of glue there. And this one goes there. Now these need a dimensional here, and I think I used some small ones, yes so I put Just like that. So I'm going to just glue. Oh, take the back off the dimensionals would help. And I'm going to pop. Small dimensional under the S. That's it. Right, the love I have on there, so we just need dimensionals here. And a small one. And then the U just gets stuck down in the middle part. Like that. And that is our card. You cannot see it very well because of the light. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you uh, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos we upload, I upload, on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.